Today we will be showing you guys how to carry your weft threads up the side of your project when you have a lot of color changes in things like plaids or you know anytime you do striping so you don't have to overlap constantly and then have to cut your ends. So this is really helpful in this project which is our blueberry scarf that we have. Um, we are repeating a sequence. Um, here is the two pick of white thread that we are going to carry up the side. So you can see we're, we're almost at that point. I have two more blue picks of weft thread to do and I'm going to do that now. So we've completed our blue picks and now we want to throw in two white thread uh, weft thread picks. So just Okay. So you bring your wet your white weft pick, your first one, you pull it through. Now the white one we are gonna splice in the middle here. So you just want to let make sure you have extra ends on, on both sides. So yeah, it's about, I have about six to eight inches on both sides that we'll be able to splice over. So our weft thread is here, it's our first pick, and so I'm going to beat this in, and then change, and then basically bring the blue one over the white, so it's overlapping, you can see, and then I'm going to bring my blue back down. And what that does is it carries the blue up the side. So, I know we don't want to mess with our warp too much, but I'm going to bring the second white pick through manually with my hand to the midway of your project. So it's about right in the middle. This white, these white stripes are the middle. And so when you bring over your your uh, white thread, the blue, is going to get tucked on the side. And then you do the same thing with the white. So now what we can do is splice the white. So these are six ply, so I'm going to do three and three on here and pull it out I'm unplying it and then same here and I'm leaving about a two inch part in the center where you're going to overlap the two spliced weft threads two. Okay, and we can beat that in. And then when we change again, the downward setting of the heddle, you're ready for your blue pick, and it's right there. And you can just throw it right in. Now we have another nine picks left of the blue, but we don't have to splice anything. We don't have to, you know, mess with it at all. We're just ready to go. Here you see we have our nice finished edge. You can see a little bit of the white, but the blue totally, you know, fits in there. You don't even notice that it's been carried up the side. Mm -hmm. 